Assalamu alaikum, goedemiddag. Aangiften tegen wilders blijven liggen. Nieuwe manier om huwelijkspartner te ontmoeten. In gesprek met dokter Sudi Jasser. Na de oorlogsverklaring van moslim-extremisten op 11 september 2001... ...werden zowel Amerika als Europa het doelwit van terroristische aanslagen. In de War on Terror werken de Verenigde Staten en Europa samen op het gebied van veiligheid en inlichtingen... ...om verdere aanslagen te voorkomen en terrorisme te bestrijden. Ik denk niet dat er een militaire oplossing is voor radicalisme. Want op een punt all they need to do is get one terrorist incident right for them to have a victory. The way for us to defeat them is to work internally and to debate and, and make their ideas go away. Dr. Sudi Yasser van het Amerikaans Islamitisch Forum voor Democratie was opnieuw in ons land om op verzoek van de Amerikaanse ambassade de dialoog met Nederlandse politici voort te zetten over de noodzakelijke betrokkenheid van gematigde moslims bij het bestrijden van de politieke islam. The American Muslim population is in many ways going through some of the same struggles that uh, we see in the West and in Europe and in the Netherlands. Uh, I think it's natural because of the post 9/11 environment for Muslims to reflexively react and say, you know, we need to protect ourselves because we are being victimized. This is unfair, etc. Uh, but I think that the only way to change that is for us to take responsibility of our own situation. We have allowed the radical groups and even the nonviolent groups such as uh, whether it's Salafists or, or Wahhabists, that uh, Wahhabists are often militant, but those that group based on Islamic theology to drive who represents us. So this is not a problem that the non-Muslim community or America as a government can fix. This is a problem only that the Muslim community can fix from within. And until we shed aside the denial and start taking responsibility for that cancer that is within our community, which is militant Islamism or militant political Islam, I don't think it's going to go away. So I would tell you that at this point there has been very little strategy of how to uh, approach militant political Islam from within. De Haagse Hogeschool wilde de korte aanwezigheid van Dr. Jasser benutten en organiseerde spontaan een discussieavond met hem. Having been born in the U.S. and uh, raised in the West, like many of you, sometimes, especially being the, the son of immigrants, uh, you feel alone. You feel that uh, your parents really don't understand what it is to uh, be growing up in the U.S. In some ways, you thank them for uh, leaving uh, a country that didn't have any freedoms. So in some way, it was very thankful to me that they left uh, Syria, where my parents came from. But in other ways, you feel a bit of a victim uh, because um, you don't have the roots of family in, in, in your town. As far as the Dutch Muslims are concerned, I see, in, in the ones that I've met with so far, uh, I see a lot of similarities. That uh, uh, they, they love the Netherlands, they love the, the environment that they have here, and they're uh, uh, basically trying to create the beginning of groups and networks that can provide a, a framework so that their children can live as Dutch citizens and also respect their faith and be true to uh, God and the message of the Prophet Muhammad. I 
think the radicalism comes from an inability of us as Muslims to give youth uh, uh, dreams of being free. And that right now the only dreams they see are somehow they think government should be God. Uh, that government is going to create what they view as what the Prophet Muhammad did. And I would argue that the Prophet Muhammad never said that those things need to be mixed. Certainly he mixed them. And I think as Muslims, part of the way to defeat radicalism is to separate history from religion. At the time of the Prophet, yes, we needed to mix. At that time in, in pagan Arabia, they needed to mix the role of the head of state with the messenger of the Prophet, of the messenger uh, of, of God. But that was because at that time, uh, uh, there was no other society. That was the constructs that they used, was religious societies and religious communities. Now we've evolved beyond that. The most successful communities in the world are those that separate religion and politics. Dutch society, I think, 